Greetings and salutations. It's me, James, your BA Sensei. Welcome to another Power Query tutorial video. This one is going to be very quick. You can almost call it like a lightning tutorial. So what we have here is we're going to look at doing grouping, but based on text fields that returns a comma delimited text value um, array instead of it uh, versus something like pivot where you need to have a value so this is like advanced grouping in power power query it's not that difficult but it takes a little bit of um, understanding and a little bit of work in the advanced editor so business case use case we have over here um, a list of portfolios and the positions and stocks each portfolio holds and the total amount we have in each uh, invested in each stock what we want to have is I want to have a simple 10 portfolio pivot table that tells me what stock is in each portfolio that's as simple as that so how do we do that so we go to there we say from table get it into power query step number one once it's in Power Query, it's actually quite simple. What we do is, um, I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. So you're going to say, I want to group this data. So you go to Add Column. Well, not Add Column, you say Transform. You say Group By. I want to group this by my portfolio. And I want to see all my stocks, a comma delimited list of all my stocks. But you can see there's no real option for, I'm going to do Count Rows. I'm, I'm just going to select some just to start us off. And I want to base it on the position, the shares, the equities. So I say, okay, obviously it's going to break. It's breaking already. So the problem here is it's a non, uh, it's a text field. How do you summarize that? So what I suggest you do is you go into advanced editor and we quickly single out that count. Let's call this um, a stock um, positions stocks let's just call it stocks and instead of using the list sum what we're going to because there's no real value to sum we're going to tell it to basically we're going to use the text text dot combine function and we're going to say the positions which are the stocks and we want to basically comma delimit them if i do that i just go like this there you have it isn't that cool? So now you know what each portfolio consists of. Comma delimited stock list. But let's say, for instance, I want to do the opposite. Let's say we wanted to go the route of. Let's just do that again. But I want to do it based on the stock. So I say group based on. Uh, Why well, am I keep, keep on doing it? Group by. I want to group it by the position, the stock, and I want to do a sum of the portfolio name, which is going to break. But then I once again I go into the editor and I go like portfolios. Yes, just in the last one, and I take the list off and I say text not combine. I made a mess. My um, auto checker is not on, and then I say I want to combine it based on a comma delimited list. And now we're gonna get the same but four portfolios for each stock. I can see what isn't that cool. A quick little hack in doing groupings, comma, separated groupings in Power Query. Excellent. Cheers.